Hi there, Uncle Davis here, watching MPH TV Nothing Pro here. Also, Motorsport, as you can see on the screen, is the game that has been occupying most of my gaming time in the last two weeks or so. Basically, ever since the early Access 5 days premium version that got me into the Forza Motorsports game, and I have been enjoying this game for a lot of um, different races on the multiplayer and single player, different features, rivals, etc. It's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. Now, I know that many people are not happy with the default FFB setup, um, and we all know that it's not actually that I do. It's not even close to a um, decent FFB setup. Now, this video is going to cover what I have got set up for my CSL DD8 Newton Meter setup. Now, I'm not going to claim this is the best FFB setup, as you can probably find a lot of videos out there claiming this is the best, <laughs> because FFB is quite personal, right? It's, it's a pretty personal thing, and this is working to my liking. So you might not like it, you might not think this is great for you, and which is fine. But I'm just sharing, like, if anyone out there has a similar taste, FFB taste as I do, I hope this helps you out. Otherwise, if you think this is not good, or if you have any ideas how to make it even better, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always happy and open to learn from all you guys around the world. So let's jump into the settings here. This is gonna be a short video, no BS, no crap. So let's jump right into settings and go to the advanced input setup. This is basically what I've got. So that zone is a zero to end hundred for inside outside for steering, um, and then you uh, off here and five and ninety five for acceleration deceleration. Basically, I have not touched the dead zone at all here. Um, so this is the important part, I guess. In coming from the vibration scale. Um, and all the way down to the bottom. I said vibration scale is 5, force feedback scale is 120, um, self alignment 70, mechanical 140, and pneumatic is 60. Um, these two are quite important to uh, make the FFB to feel like what you actually want it to be. Uh, roll field scale is 80, low sensitivity is 70. Wheel damping, center, spring, and dynamic damper is all zero and steering sensitivity and steering linearity is 50-50. Now, also to use this preset, I have to also set something up in the Fender Lab as well to accommodate these setups, otherwise it feel kind of weird. Um, so let's jump into the Fender Lab here. And here it is, my fan lab setup. Sorry about the um, the blurriness of, of the thing because I'm trying to capture this uh, zoomed in uh, on on uh, on the 4K screen. <laughs> so so a little bit of a digital zoom uh, action going on there. Uh, but as you can see, that's basically what I've got here. Feel free to pause the video and and set it up. Uh, I use number two um, profile because so that I can separate this from my uh, usual AMS2 uh, profile one. Um, and um, one thing I do want to mention is the uh, natural damper. You can play around with that. 20% um, I found is pretty good balance for me. Um, you, some people may even want to dial that down to um, like 15. Um, but overall, I think the combination of this Fenella setup and the in-game setup gives me pretty good um, feel of the car on the road. Um, only thing that to be aware of is some car does have pretty weak FFB. Um, so if you come across any cars like that, just go into the tuning of the car, um, go to the last tab of the tuning menu, and then you can bump up the force feedback. Now, unfortunately, you can only do this on a car that you own, as far as I'm aware. Um, any rental car, you can't do that because you simply just can't tune a rental car, which um, is a shame because the FFB shouldn't be part of tuning should be part of the settings of the game. You, you don't tune FFB in the real car, there's no such thing, I guess. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you out to uh, at least maybe working as a baseline to work out what your favorite, uh, what your ideal FFB setup is. Um, if you um, have any questions or if you want to share your FFB setup, feel free, free to leave a comment down below and we'd love to hear from you. And on that note, stay safe, have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.